A pleasant day, everyone. Welcome again to Teacher Tini Tin's classroom. This is Mrs. Christine Sitawanya, your English line teacher. Part 2 has the theme, Finding Others' Greatness. And Module 2 and 3 has the same most essential learning competency, which is to make connections between texts, two particular social issues, concerns, or dispositions. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to make connections between text, to particular social issues, concerns, or dispositions. To be able to achieve it, the following objectives would help. Become familiar about a narrative paragraph and its components. Use ways on how to write a narrative paragraph. Use clue words and phrases in sin signaling actions that begin and end. Assess a narrative paragraph using standards and late text content to particular social issues, concerns, or dispositions in real life using narrative writing. So what is a narrative? According to WikiHow, a narrative paragraph tells a story, either real or fictional, by introducing a topic, giving more details, and then ending with a reflection or transition to another paragraph. The structure of a narrative is similar to the, the element of, the, of a short story because a short story is an example of a narrative. The first part is what we call as the exposition or the setting the story. It tells where and when did that story happen. The rising action creates the story. What is the problem of the story? It tells us the conflict of the story. Next is the climax. Climax make it interesting. So what makes the story interesting? Usually it occurs when the character of the story or the protagonist in the story needs to face the problem or the conflict. The fourth one is the falling action. Falling action is creating solutions. It is when the character is trying to solve the problem. So he is looking ways on how would he solve the problem. And the last one is the denoma, which is concluding the ending. What happens to the character after they have solved the problem? Not all stories ends with the denoma. There are what we call as cliffhangers. It is very important that we know this element so that we can create a very good narrative paragraph. And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and God bless everyone.